Hey everyone, I'm back again with another r slash relationship advice and this one is titled Me with my wife married three years together for much longer cheated on me slash left me slash ongoing affair Is it worth it? Please make sure you like the video and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get right into it. My wife and I have been together since high school. Both of us went to college, got married shortly after. Three year marriage, life was good or so we thought. I did everything I could for her. I made her the center of my life. I love her. I didn't want to be that husband that didn't let her do anything or hold her back on what she wanted to do. We traveled the world. I let her hang out with her girlfriends when she wanted to. We had date night once a week. What more could you ask for? This past spring, she went to her cousin's bachelorette party. After that weekend, it all goes downhill from there. We both work the graveyard shift and some nights she would be off from work and would tell me she was going to hang out with her friends. Sure, no problem. Hasn't been a big deal. But over the course of a few months, it was definitely getting suspicious. A few months later, we go to that cousin's wedding. We took off a week to spend with family. Some of her siblings and family asked me if my wife was doing okay, if we were okay. They said she was very distant, always on the phone, always missing, but always on the go. She was very short with a lot of them, they said. Got back from the wedding trip. We were both supposed to work that weekend. She awkwardly was called off from work one night. She said, as she usually said, she was going to hang out with friends that night. I texted her later in the evening, asked what she was doing. She said she was going out. I texted her again past midnight, asked if she was heading home soon and to be careful. We track each other on find my friends. Noticed she was still at her girlfriend's place. This isn't the first time. Morning comes and she's not at home. I call her up, tell her to come home immediately. I just go straight for it and ask her if there's another guy and she drops the bomb. Daggers, so many daggers. I can still imagine that moment like a movie in my head. She tells me she met this guy during the bachelorette trip that turned out to also live by us. All those times she was with her girlfriends, she was actually with this guy. And I can recollect how many times I've checked find my friends and she would be at that location. I love her deeply and value our relationship. I put aside my pride and humility and tell her I am willing to work out our marriage even with what she's done. A lot of you probably think I'm an idiot. I ask her what she wanted. She says she doesn't know. She at first says she wants to be with me but still wants to see the other guy. I'm angry, upset, sad, mad, whatever else feelings there are. Few days pass, we become more estranged to each other. She distances herself, then drops the next bomb. She packs up and moves out. I meet up with her a week later and we talk. From the research I've done, she definitely in this affair fog. She doesn't seem to take responsibility for the affair or what she's done. She just continued to point blame back to me on what was wrong with our relationship, which was the first time I heard of it. And also the first time she tells me she's been unhappy. I'm blindsided. She asks me to give her some space and time. She also tells me she wants to find herself, experience the single life, and that she's not leaving me for another guy. A couple of weeks later after we talk, my curiosity gets the best of me and I take a drive by this guy's place. As you would expect, I find her car parked there. I'm crushed. Now about two months later, I still haven't heard from her. I don't know if I should reach out to her or just keep waiting. I guess my question is, where should I go from here? Is this relationship worth saving? The car I drive is under her. Should I just give it back? What about our shared cell phone bill? So many unknowns. It doesn't seem like she wants to work out anything at all. And I know if she continues this affair, any way our marriage would reconcile is pretty much out the door. 
everyone has also been telling me to give it some time. It's still early to determine anything. And I told her I didn't want to make any irrational decision that we might regret later. I've been doing the best to take care of myself, to focus on me. I've gotten checked for STDs right away. I've been seeing a therapist quite frequently since all of this began. My family and close friends are all informed and in the loop. My support system is them, and they have been there for me. I've continued working out, it's always been a thing for me. Prayer has been nice, seeking a greater being. I know I'm going to have good days and bad days, sad days and happy days. I know my emotions are going to be all over the place. Should I be moving on? Is there something worth waiting for? Can we fix this if she opens her eyes? What's it going to be worth? Do I have to let her go for her to see what she's lost? If you read it all and have come this far, thank you. And the first advice says, although I think your wife has checked out of the marriage and is never coming back, you'd be dumb to trust this woman ever again, even if she did come back. Her being gone for two months is more than enough time to wait, time to lawyer up and start the divorce process. And the second advice says, why would you want someone who treated you and your relationship so disrespectfully as a partner? Stop settling for less than you know you're worth. No matter how good a partner you are, she doesn't value your relationship as much as you do. I don't know if trust once broken can ever be regained. I don't know if you take her back if she can ever really respect you after betraying you and suffering no consequences. In the future, reject anyone who abuses your trust and treats your love like it's worthless. Maybe you should see a therapist about improving your self-esteem right after you see a divorce attorney. And the third advice says, your wife is telling you how important this marriage is to her. Believe her. If the fog wears off, sure, she might come back. She might claim it was all a mistake and she'll do anything to make up for it. She'll go through the motions and pretend to be the best wife in the world. But you'll know, deep in your heart, you'll know how much you mean to her. You mean less than some guy she just met. Talk to a lawyer, they'll help you work through joint assets and things. You're ahead of the game with your therapy and support network. Keep relying on them. They know that you may need them someday, so I'm sure they'll be happy to help you in any way they can. And the fourth advice says, you don't deserve to be treated like this. If you have been putting your effort into the relationship, then she is not holding up her half at all. You both have been together for so long that you don't know what it's like to be alone or independent. You need to sever this relationship and forge a new life plan that doesn't involve her now. You deserve to be with someone that cares about you and isn't going to cheat after all the years you've been together. What I see happening is she will come back at one point begging to be taken back because they don't understand her like you do or someone will cheat on her. And you shouldn't take her back because you are her backup plan, not her future plan. If she comes back, there is no repercussions for her actions. She won't have learned anything because she will know she can cheat on you and come back to your bed. She's put you at risk and as you said, she isn't taking responsibility for her actions. Any potential relationship would be full of strain and hurt and you will always struggle with trust and respect. Thank you guys for watching, please comment below and let me know if there's any other subreddits you guys would like me to make videos on and also like the video and please subscribe.